Today we're going to take a look at the Sage Intelligence Connector. The Connector module is the vehicle where we pull data in from different sources into Sage Intelligence. This source could be Sage 300 or other Sage products, as well as ODBCs from various places, external databases, etc. When you open up Sage Intelligence uh, Connector, you will see this screen. Double click on the Enterprise to expand the tree and you can see all the different types of connections you can build. Today we're just going to look at the ODBC SQL Server so we're going to double check, double click that and you'll see under here Sage ACPAC Auto Connect and Sage ACPAC Consolidation. Consolidation would be where you were doing consolidated statements and reports from multiple companies. We're just going to look at the Sage Auto Connect, which connects to the Sage 300 database. So I'm going to double click on this and you can see a number of connections come with the software. So for instance, if you were to look at customer sales, if I double click on that, you can see all the fields. There's a couple pass through variables and um, items that are used for reports using this particular container. So if you look through and you realize that your connector doesn't have the information you're looking to report upon, you can create your own. So today we're going to create a container with two Sage 300 tables. The account fiscal sets, which is GLAFS, and the uh, GL chart of accounts table, which is GLAMF. So to create a new table, you go back up to Sage ACPAC Auto Connect, right click, and choose Add Data Container. So we're not going to do a single table. We're going to do from two tables. So we're going to use the graphical join, which is to me the easiest way to do um, a connection. And it's very similar to Crystal Reports. So we're going to give the container a name. So we're going to say GL Net Changes. And I'm going to write, uh, include the two tables that I'm using, which isn't required, but I find it easier later. That way I know what I'm looking at. So I'm going to click OK. And now we have a table. There it is. The next thing we need to do is we need to graph, use the graphical join um, uh, tool to choose the tables and um, create a link between the two tables. So I'm going to click on the graphical join and I'm going to scroll down to the GL tables and we're going to use AFS, account fiscal sits, and AMF, which is GL accounts. I'm going to click OK. Now I got the option uh, to do my linking, so I'm going to drag account ID to account ID. If you want to show the SQL, this is the SQL sta uh, statement that Sage Intelligence automatically creates. And I'm going to click OK or Apply. So now we've got a container with two tables, but now we need to add some fields so that we can report off those fields. So I'm going to add the GL net changes for each fiscal period plus the opening balance plus the account description and the account ID. So right click and choose add expressions. An expression is Sage Intelligence terminology for those things that are in a container. Those things can be data fields, they can be SQL expressions or pass through variables or even Excel formulas that can be stored right in your container. Right now we're just going to look at data fields. So I'm going to choose both of my tables and I'm going to click OK. So now we've got a, uh, a list of fields to choose from and uh, you can see which table it's coming from. So I'm going to start with account ID, fiscal year, fiscal set designation which is the um, actuals which is A or the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for budgets or if you were to use quantities that would show up as well. 
So uh, open balance, net changes for all 13 periods. I'm going to leave out period 14 and 15 because 14 is the adjustment period, 15 is the closing period. And then I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to pick up the account description, the account type, and I want to pick up whether the account is active. And I'm going to click OK. So now you can see I've got a bunch of fields in my container. You can leave it as is, or you can go in and you can rename all of these fields to something that's a little more meaningful. If I were to leave it as is, that's perfectly fine, but when I create the report and report manager, not only will this be what I pick from, which might not be great for someone who isn't super familiar with the data structure in Sage, but these column headings, these will become your column headings in your Excel. So we're going to take a moment now to rename the fields so that they will be more useful and save us work when we're formatting the Excel report later. So to rename a field, you simply right click and choose rename. So this is the active account field and I'll click OK. Or you can highlight the field and press F2 and this is the account type and account description and the net changes. So I'm going to use net period 13. I'm going to copy and paste this so I can reuse it for all of these fields. So that's 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, And then our opening balance. Fiscal set designator. Fiscal year. And last but not least, account ID. So now we have just created a brand new container in Sage Intelligence. Once you're finished doing that, you simply close Sage Intelligence, connector, or minimize, and then you can move on to the report manager where we will build a report.